Now here's a big one that I've been wanting an answer to for ages, and that is the age old question, relist or sell similar? Right, I had a one-to-one -one with an eBay rep, like many people did, and I asked that very question. And the answer I got from the rep was, Me and Belle went to the eBay Open 2023 in Manchester last week. And uh, it was really interesting. Met lots of great people, lots of YouTubers, Instagrammers, and people who we know from the Tinternet. And um, also we did learn a few things and I've got some golden nuggets, some little tiny golden nuggets of information from the eBay Open, from eBay employees themselves, things that might help you improve and sell more on eBay. Before we do that, I'm going to do a little giveaway. So stay tuned to the end to find out how you can win one of the goodie bags that we got given at the eBay Open. You get this canvas bag, you get an eBay notebook like this. You get one of these, you get a couple of other little things, which I don't know what they are. Unfortunately, I have eaten the sweets, so you don't get those. Um, but I'll also throw in, how about this? Absolutely priceless. I'll throw in Bell's eBay lanyard. You can have that as well, a bit like the one that I've got here. Uh, you can have that too. Um, so stay tuned till the end and I'll tell you how you can win this load of gump. So let's get started. I've got 10 things that I picked up from the eBay Open that I thought you guys might be interested in. The first one is your item titles. The first four words in your title are the most important. Now that information has been banded around quite a bit on the internet, um, but I've heard it myself direct from eBay at the open. So the first four words, get your most important words in there first. And the very first word should be your brand, if it has one, always your brand first, apparently. The next one is all about shipping. And eBay said that you should try and offer a shipping service that will arrive in three days or less and or offer free shipping. Now we know that eBay are always pushing free shipping and guess what? I've plumped for it. My entire store now is free shipping. I've decided to go for it. Uh, I've gone all in. I changed, I bulk edited over a thousand listings. I am now free shipping. So I thought I'd try it. Another one also linked to titles is don't use exclamation marks or emojis in your title. That was a big no-no. And I have to put my hands up here and say, I have recently talked about using a warning emoji if you're doing spares and repairs. You know, like the, the yellow triangle, I've said that in the past and I've used it myself. But apparently eBay say no emojis, no exclamation marks eBay do have a number of tools that can help you as a seller to sell more items and to do research and stuff. So this particular point is all about things that will help you that eBay provide you. And I've got three examples. Terapeak, which I already use. Um, it gives you two years worth of historic listings and sales. And you can um, sort of do a bit of research there or you can research on things that might be profitable to sell in the future. I've not used it for that reason myself. There's also the listings quality report, which is actually quite useful. Go and find it on your seller hub, the listings quality report. It gives you an overview of any listings that might not be performing quite as well as others and why and what things you can do to rectify it. And also don't forget that eBay gives you an opportunity to not only do markdown sales, but you can also send coupons to previous buyers on your store using the buyer groups function. There's always been a lot of talk about the color of your background. Should you be a white background or should you have color or some kind of imagery in the background? Well, apparently eBay is saying that your first image should have a white background. Okay, so that's a little bit different from what we've heard in the past. They've always said all images should be white background. Okay, first image only, white background. Um, but also, just as a little add-on to that, they have said that it's quite a good idea to have what they call a lifestyle image, if it's appropriate to the item you're, that you're selling. 
So I don't know, I'll ping some on screen, a lifestyle image. So the item in situ, as if you might use it. So say you were selling a vase. So your first image would be a vase with a white background, but your second image could be a lifestyle photo. The vase in the corner of a room, all sort of nicely, I don't know, lifestyled. There you go, you can use that as potentially your second image. When I was having my one-to-one -one with the eBay rep, um, I asked the question, why is there a discrepancy between the eBay app uh, 90 day totals and the desktop 90 day totals? And the rep could not answer that question, but basically said, ignore your 90 day information on the app always take the information from the desktop because that is their baseline. That is the bit of information that is always correct. So basically, if you're looking at your 90 day totals, um, forget it on the app. Don't bother on the app, just ignore it, which is a shame really, because it's there and it's a shame it's not accurate. But I was told it is not accurate, um, but you should always look at your 90 day stuff from the desktop only. This is a big one. After 90 days, your item is stagnant. So eBay are not pushing it. They might not even be showing it properly in search results. And if they do, it will be way down the list. I guess, I don't know, I'm guessing here, but if you've got an item that is rare, or unusual, and might only have one result, it might still come up. But eBay are saying, if that item has been listed for more than 90 days, they class it as stagnant, they might not even show it in results. Here's an easy one. If you're not making use of the video function on your listings, where you get one slot for a video where your photographs are, make use of it, especially if it's appropriate to see something working. So that's an easy one. I've used it myself. And you know what? I think pretty much every time I've used a video on my listings, the item is always sold. And just linking onto the stagnant listings, their advice is when an item goes stagnant, go through a cycle of relisting, optimizing. So have a look at your title. Does it need any changes? Also, have a look at your pictures. Do they need any changes? Also, have a look at your item specifics. Are there any additions that you can put in in there? And does the price need changing? Do you need to reduce the price to get it moving? You can do that after 90 days. Um, and that is what they class as optimizing. Now here's a big one that I've been wanting an answer to for ages. And that is the age old question, relist or sell similar? Right, I had a one-to-one -one with an eBay rep like many people did. And I asked that very question. And the answer I got from the rep was, they have no idea why eBay have a relist button. So basically he said to me, always, always, always sell similar. And is that a definitive answer to the question? I don't know, probably not to be honest with you because I've already spoke to a couple of people who have said that um, eBay have given them opposite information to that. But I can only say what eBay said to me on my one-to-one -one, and their instruction was stay away from relist and always use a sell similar button. Apparently items that are regularly, regularly, reg, regularly visited by you as the seller um, and edited updated, you know, checked your item specifics, added a few extra in, um, do, done some tweaks maybe on it. Those listings are actually favored by eBay. So if you're keeping your listing up to date on a regular basis, perhaps you're gonna get a little bit of a boost from eBay. So that's 10 of the things that I took away from the eBay Open 2023 in Manchester. It was an interesting day, but here's a little disclaimer. These things may work for you, they may not. These are just the pieces of advice that eBay gave us directly at the event. Um, if it doesn't work, don't blame me. If you want to be in with a chance of winning Bell's goodie bag, including 
Bells Yanla Yanlard Lanyard. <laughs> now, if you want to be in with a chance of winning Bell's goodie bag from the eBay Open with all the little bits inside, minus the sweets I've eaten them. Uh, also includes that's mine, but Bell's eBay lanyardy thing. Um all you have to do is comment on the video. Simple as that. I'll do a random comment generate a winner thing and um, I'll announce it probably on one of our live shows coming up. So keep your eyes out on a Monday night, 8 p.m. That's it for today. I hope you find it interesting. I hope you've got some little tips, some little nuggets of advice from today's video. And uh, take care. Don't forget to subscribe for more good stuff. See you later.